Hi, this is Lynn with MI Tinker, and today we're going to test out my new Valley uh, propane gas fire pit. And uh, I put it together last night, and we're going to test it out today. So please join me for taking a look at this Valley outdoor fire pit. See it sparking. Let's try it one more time. It's supposed to have 50,000 BTUs, so this ought to help keep this warm on a fall day outside. You may need to invest in a lighter. So it is nice. It does throw off a, a reasonable amount of heat. The starter works perhaps one out of every ten times. So you'll, you'll want to have a, you know, a fire starter. But it's pretty. Nice ambiance. So what do I like about this? Other than on a cold day it's going to keep you nice and toasty warm outside. That the cost was under $160 delivered. Um, I like the aesthetics of it. The size is quite nice. You can have four, four people around it very easily, and it's pretty. I, I think it's, it's got a good aesthetic to it. The things that I would tell people that to know ahead of time if you're going to order a product like this is that the assembly is going to be uh, a little time consuming. All I needed was a, a Phillips screwdriver and some patience because it came in about 15 parts and those 15 parts had instructions that were only so-so. Uh, some of the screws I had to really be careful not to cross thread because the way that the metal is constructed it's not a perfect fit on the first attempt to put things together. It's really close but not like slip in place, boom, put the screw in. It's more like slip in place, wiggle it, push it, skew it, then put the screw in place. So I would recommend that when you do assemble something like this that you put the screw 90% of the way in uh, and then finish assembly and then tighten them all down after that. Just because you're going to need a little attitude for putting things together and having it fit uh, all square and in place. But other than that frustration, the finished product I think looks great. I'm enjoying the warmth, I'm enjoying the look, and I think it's going to be well worth the money. The, the push button ignition, I think on anything, is going to be maybe a 50-50 proposition. I've never had great luck with push button starters. So if you go into this knowing that the push button starter is probably not going to be great and you use your barbecue lighter or your fireplace lighter, it'll work fine. 
Thank you for joining me today with Lynn with MI Tinker and testing out this brand new propane gas fire pit. Stay warm. I think I'm going to enjoy this.